Welcome. I'm Raymond, aka Mr. Know It All. We're going to talk about saws today. Commonwealth of Uncommon Knowledge Colleges. That's what we're going to do is teach you about everything that you can get your hands on that you can maybe hurt yourself with and teach you, keep you from doing it. We have to cut things. We have to cut metal. We have to cut wood. We have to cut intricate pieces of wood. We have three kinds of saws here. And of course a trusty tape measure. Everybody's got to have that in the clamp. Now I'm going to clamp a nail onto my work table. And we're going to take that hacksaw. And I'm going to show you this is what you can use a hacksaw for quickly and efficiently. Is when you have to cut off a nail. Start the saw. Move it in smooth strokes. It won't vibrate against the blade, so that's a good thing. Pull away from it so you don't get the teeth. There we go. That's quick and easy. Now that's what a hacksaw do. Okay, now let's talk about wood saws. We have several different kinds. I've got two varieties here. One is a uh, conventional called a crosscut saw. This is made by the Stanley Company. It's a flexible blade. It's relatively new. Now, if Chris can come, if I can zoom in on this blade, I want to show you that the teeth are not in a straight line. They're offset. One goes right, one goes left, just, just fractionally. Can you see that, Chris? All right, we're going to take it back over here and we're going to use it. Cut off, cross the cut saw is just that. We cut across with it. So we're going to take this and we're going to clamp this piece of wood on the table. So that we turn it over, get a hold of it. So that we can uh, cut our end off of it. We've got some staples in the end of it here. I want to cut that off. And a good crosscut saw, if used correctly and efficiently, will cut that off pretty quick. Especially if you're in a place where you can't get to electricity. Okay? Now, I got that clamped down. And we'll go out here about an inch away from the end. And I'm going to pull it to me to get started. So I'll put the blade down. I just back my hand up there on the top. It cuts both forward and backward for each stroke because those teeth are at an angle. Each stroke cuts on that wood. I'm going to hold it over here because we don't have a real good connection. But as you can see, Make good progress through that saw, through the wood. Now that's what that type of, that's what a crosscut saw will do for you. Now we're going to finish that up right quick with a back saw. This has a blade that doesn't bend. It's used for cutting thin decorative trim and moldings. And it doesn't move. It doesn't flex. But it's very fast, very efficient. This is a real good new little back saw, so it's real sharp. I come in with thin needle. That'll be something we'll go through. When we get to Mr. Noah Dahl's chemistry set on how to take care of our, our, our wood cutting tools. If you want to learn more, go to the blog. Meantime, I'll finish this so it looks good for the next part. Bye.